Welcome to oh. No, you're right, it's fine. Uh it's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. Get inside, run friend, run! This is Minecraft 2019. Get inside quick. Okay, I think I'm safe. So yeah, as I was saying, welcome to Minecraft in 2019. This video is gonna be all about helping you be prepared for anything you might encounter in Minecraft. How to start out very simple from the basics through to the end game and how to avoid being murdered by a wither. I mean, it's kind of easy to avoid because you have to intentionally spawn a wither, but that's, that's something for another time. So without further ado, let's get into it. We'll start at the top and we'll explain how it all works. All right, see, so first things first, you're gonna find yourself at the menu. I imagine you're gonna be playing single player and you're gonna hit create new world. New world, you can call it literally whatever you want. Game mode survival is probably what you're gonna play on, but there's also hardcore for hardcore gamers. You die, you're done. Creative for those who just wanna have fun building, but survival, that one is for you. There's also more world options. You probably don't need to adjust anything here. You might wanna turn that on so that if you have to, you can type in things, but that's totally up to you, your call. So once you've decided on all that, you just hit create new world and you will find a new world. Now this world is completely randomly generated and will be unique to you. <clears throat> all right. We've spawned in a jungle biome. That's actually incredible. So first things first, you wanna hit escape, go to your options and controls. Auto jump, which is on by default, you need to turn that to off. Get that thing out of your life. You don't wanna be auto jumping all over the place. It's not a good time. All right, so space is jump, WASD, your movement controls, and by default as well, I think sprint is control and sneak is shift. So this is sneaking and obviously sprint, but you can also double tap W to sprint, but you might wanna change that around so that you've got something normal. So your sneak is control like crouching and your sprint is left shift. So that's another thing you may wanna change. All right, so first things first, you gotta find somewhere to live. Ideally not too far away from your spawn point because there's a pretty good chance you're gonna die. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. All right, so you can also see, you can break stuff by holding left click. That's right, you've got to hold left click. You don't just click it once because it won't break. All right, so we're gonna go and see if we can find a place where we can build. Oh look, over there in the distance, it's some sort of structure. I'm guessing that is a desert village. Now, generally speaking, we wouldn't want to build in a desert but we could build on the edge of the desert and the jungle because you need plenty of resources if you're playing Minecraft. We've got wood here in the jungle and there's lots of other things we can find in the jungle to keep us going. And then the desert's good because it's got sand which you can make into glass to make your house all awesome and see through. No privacy for you, I'm sorry. And there's also water around which is also very helpful. Oh no, I can hear a monster already. This is terrifying. All right, I think this is gonna be a good place to build. That's a desert temple over there. We'll talk about that later. All right, let's go over here and we're gonna get ourselves some wood. That's probably the first thing you need to do in Minecraft. Also, if you're in the water and you start to sink, don't be afraid. Just press space and you'll be fine. Press and hold space and you'll bounce around on top of the water. I don't know exactly how you do that, you just have like really strong legs. Like look at those legs. It's better than, I don't know, that, that American swimmer dude. That's incredible. The other thing with water is you can actually go down the bottom and you can hit shift and start sprinting. Look at me now. Oh, I'm swimming around under the water. Now, if you wanna get out of here, you just aim upwards and you'll, you'll, you'll make it to the top. Did you see how those bubbles went down? If you stay in the water too long, <gasps> You are going to drown. Ready? Ow, it hurts, it's a whole heart, oh, a heart of health. All right, so when you take damage, you lose those hearts of health. To regenerate, you need to be full on the food bar, okay? So you have to find food as well. First things first though, let's get ourselves some timber. We probably want at least four of these bits of timber. So we need to make these 
into wooden planks. Do that by placing it in this crafting area here and then shift click to turn them all into wooden planks. All right, let's see. Let's make ourselves a crafting table. So just left click on that and then hold right click and drag around. Look at that, we've got a crafting table. Unbelievable. Crafting tables, you place them on the ground by right clicking. Same as any block, if you've got a block in here, you just aim where you want it and you hit right click. All right, now right click on that crafting table. It's time to make ourselves some sticks, just like that. Shift click, we put them in our inventory. Right click, hold and drag, hold and drag with the right click and we've got ourselves a wooden pickaxe. Unbelievable, the progress we have made so far is incredible. What you wanna do now, you wanna get yourself some stone. So we're digging away, we're getting achievements, we're doing things. You probably need to get yourself a decent amount of this cobblestone. Oh, should I risk it? Caves are great places to find resources, but you probably shouldn't go down there until you have a sword. So let's come back out here and go to our crafting table. And we're gonna upgrade our pickaxe just like that, stone pickaxe. This fella can get out of here. Let's just drop him in the water by pressing Q. Bye bye wooden pickaxe, you're done. Okay, let's make some more sticks. Time to make ourselves an ax. An ax is very helpful for chopping down trees. It can also be used to attack things. Look at that, nine attack damage. So much better than three attack damage of a stone pickaxe, but we should probably get a sword because that's better again. Look at this. Wait, wait. This has got five attack damage, this has got nine, but the speed is different. Look how quickly I can attack with the sword. This takes a lot longer to be ready, but it does hit pretty hard. We should probably bring the crafting table with us, so we're just gonna ax it a question. <laughs> Alrighty, good times. Let's get down in this cave, and we're gonna get some of those resources that we saw earlier. Don't worry about bats, they're not gonna hurt us. That down there might though, that's a creeper. All right, we're getting ourselves some coal. And that creeper, he's looking pretty creepy down there. Okay, creeper's still down there. He's just doing things, it's fine. He's not coming to say hello. So it's important to note, mobs can't go over blocks that are two blocks high. But if they're one block high, they can definitely walk up that. So when you're hitting, don't frantically hit. If you frantically hit, you'll actually do less damage. That's a creeper, that's what they do. Oh no, it's a skeleton. It's probably time for us to leave. All right, we are nearly dead. Definitely time for us to get out of here before we die. Skeletons are bad news, because if you don't have armor, you're definitely gonna die. All right, how are we doing? We got some coal, that's really good. Because you know what we can make with coal? Torches, look how many arrows I have sticking out of me. That'll happen, that's just Minecraft for you. I like to organize my inventory like this. Torches in the middle, sword, pickaxe but you can do whatever you want. This is your hotbar, by the way. You can scroll along it with your scroll wheel to select all the different items, or you can hit all your numbers on your keyboard to also select the different items. All right, I'm nearly dead. So I have two options. I can eat this rotten flesh, which I'm going to do, but it's made me hungry. Hmm, that's fine. Or I could go find something to kill and eat. So when it comes to Minecraft, it's really important to find a safe place to hide on your first night. We're looking at the sun and it's starting to set. We're gonna grab some more wood before the sun sets. Perfect. Look at that, we've got plenty of wood. We'll be fine. So the sun is setting and night is coming, which means monsters are about to start spawning galore. It's gonna be crazy. It's, it's not a good place to be in the desert at night. We're gonna die, all right? So you need to find shelter. Fortunately, we have a village here that we can actually take refuge in. They are pretty common these days, but it looks to me like all the beds are gonna be taken. So you can sleep in a bed to reset the night, okay? So that may be what we'll do in this scenario. I just stole that poor child's bed. It's okay, he <laughs> didn't need it. All right, so it's morning and we're safe. The next thing we need to do is build ourselves a basic shelter, which we could have done last night if we didn't have this village. So, we just build by right clicking. We're making ourselves an awesome shelter. I'm totally gonna run out of materials. Break these again, make sure you use an ax. 
Perfect. Put that there. We are going to place a crafting table right there. Okay. Then we're going to craft ourselves a door like so. Now you right click what side you put it on. That's where the hinge goes. We've got ourselves a door and we've got ourselves a tiny little house with a light inside. All right, so we have some iron here. How are we gonna make that into something that we can use? So what you need to do, you need to craft yourself a furnace. Hold right click and drag around in a circle. That is your furnace. This thing, we are gonna just break this right here. It's not the nicest house ever, your first house. It's never gonna be the nicest house. Put that there. I'm gonna right click on it to open it up and put the iron ore in the top. There we go, it's now smelting. All right, it's a beautiful day outside today. What's next? So congratulations, you've survived your first night and you are on your way to becoming a Minecraft legend. We need to find some food, cause we're dying. If you're fortunate enough to find a village, you can actually steal the village's food. However, this is kind of not the nicest thing you can do. If the villagers don't have food or you don't find a village, then it's time to set off on an adventure to find some animals. All right, so at this point, when your hunger bar gets down to three bars, you can no longer sprint. The other thing you need is a bed. So if you can find yourself some sheep early on, that's also very helpful. Hey, look, food. Mmm, tasty chicken. So you can eat this food raw that I have in my inventory, but it's not recommended. All right, I'm gonna get some, some more food and some wool. Hopefully, I'll get enough wool to be able to make a bed. Look at that, you've got three bits of wool and plenty of food to survive for a while longer. It's better to leave some animals if you can, because then later, you can actually breed them together and make more sheep. You can live your dream of being a shearer in the Australian outback. Anything you want, it's possible. So throughout Minecraft, you're gonna find all kinds of different things. Cactuses, sugarcane, water. Who would have thought there'd be water in Minecraft? But there's gonna be all kinds of different things in all kinds of different biomes. No world will be the same as another. So one of your best friends when it comes to Minecraft is Google. If you don't know how to make it or what to do next, Google is there to help. I highly recommend hitting escape and then F11, just going straight into Google and typing whatever your question may be. Perfect. All right, we're back to Minecraft. Food is cooking. I'm not gonna die today, okay. Eating some food will replenish your hunger bar. And then once you've eaten enough food, you'll start regenerating your health. The fuller your hunger bar is, the faster your health regenerates. Another best friend you have in Minecraft is this book right here. It can show you all kinds of recipes that you can make within the game. Look at this, we're using this book thing and we can see how to make a bed and it shows us how to do it. <gasps> we now have a bed, which we can place Perfect, we have a bed and we can now sleep. Oh, I can only sleep at night and during thunderstorms. We're learning so much, it's incredible. You know what else we need? We need a shovel. Let's make some more sticks and make ourselves a shovel. I think we're ready, let's go mining. Now, did you spot the problem? I'm mining straight down. Never mine straight down in Minecraft. It could be the end of you. Instead, Stand right in the middle of these two blocks and mine down. Just keep in mind, you're actually gonna have to come back up at some point. So you may be better off doing something like this. Doing a staircase in this method means that you can actually go down and then come back up. You're also not digging straight down, so you're not gonna fall into lava. Now you can see as we mine different things and kill different mobs, we actually gain experience in our experience bar. This will be useful for later when you need to do enchanting at an enchanting table. Oh no, our pickaxe is broken. If you're ever stuck in a hole and you don't know how to get out, hold the spacebar and jump like so, you'll get out just like that. Oh no, a creeper, quick, get inside. Oh no, he's right at the door. If this ever happens, he can't blow up as long as your door is closed and you're enclosed with the house. 
Only problem is, you can't go to sleep because there's monsters nearby. We need to craft ourselves another pickaxe. So we can craft another cobblestone pickaxe, or we can craft ourselves an upgrade with the iron ingots. Perfect. You need an iron pickaxe if you're gonna mine diamonds. Because if you mine diamonds with a stone pickaxe or a wooden pickaxe, they just disappear. Time for a little bit of combat training. When you hit a creeper, back up as quickly as you can so it doesn't detonate. Sprint at it again. Just keep sprinting at it and then backing up as soon as you hit it. That way it doesn't detonate. Good job, you killed your first creeper. Now if you ever find yourself in the situation where you can't go to sleep because there's monsters around, you can always just tunnel out of your base and just go mining. The other thing you can do is you can actually move your bed further away from where the monsters are. Let's go right about here. Look at that, I'm sleeping. Safe and sound from the monsters. Pick up your bed again, hold space and jump your way back up. Now beware when the morning comes, whilst most of the mobs are gonna be on fire, the creepers won't be. So the creepers are still gonna be hanging around. Hello, creeper. Also, if you're in a desert, the dried out husk zombies, well, they stick around too. All right, all right. So from here, you mostly just wanna keep gathering resources, particularly food, wood, iron, those sort of things. Probably you're gonna want coal as well, but just gather resources and explore the world. Have fun with it. It's a really good time. You can find all kinds of crazy things and you know, just try and stay alive. As you get more resources, especially things like iron, you need to think about making yourself some better equipment like an iron sword, iron armor, and I would definitely recommend that you get a shield as soon as you can. So if you wanna make a shield, just go straight into this little section, go to weapons, and look, it's right there and it shows you how to make it. When you go to equip this one, just hit E and put it right there. Now, when skeletons shoot at you, you can just hold right click and say, no thank you, sir, not today. Time to craft some armor so you don't die instantly. Perfect. One thing you need before you go caving and looking for those sweet, sweet diamonds is plenty of torches. All right, 40 should do it. It's time to head back down the hole and find some diamonds. So when you're hunting for diamonds, remember to hit F3 and get yourself down to Y equals around 12. That's the level that diamonds tend to spawn on. I think it's from about level 20 through to the bedrock level. So about level 12 is where I've had the most luck with finding diamonds. You can run through caves, you can run tunnels, whatever you wanna do, it's totally up to you. One thing to think about when you're exploring caves is to always put your torches on one side. I always put my torches on the right, so when I'm running back towards where I came in, I just have to keep the torches on the opposite side to what I placed them. So if I'm in here and I've been placing torches all on one side, I just have to keep the torches on my left to find my way back to where I came in. Another good thing to do is wherever your entrance to your mine shaft is, put a number of torches down so you don't miss it when you're running around. All right, time to find some diamonds. Also, this is lava. Do not walk into that. You will definitely die a horrible, horrible death. Aha, we have our first skeleton. Not today, skeleton. Oh no, we have more. Hold up your shield. You can go in the lava. You wanna go in the lava too, friend? He's dead. Oh look, we got ourselves a bow. Just remember to hold right click, deflect those arrows and then punish him for his mistakes. To get gold, you're gonna need an iron level pickaxe or better. In Minecraft, that means iron or diamond. Over there, there's some lapis, which is purely decorational or for enchanting. <gasps> and look, we found our first diamonds. All right, navigating lava can be a little bit scary. So, one thing you can do is just get a and a block out of your inventory and just place it on the ground and cover up all the lava. You might not be able to see the bottom, but you can right click around the edges to fill it all in. 
One thing I like to do when I'm harvesting diamonds is mine all the way around the diamond to make sure that you're not gonna lose any to some surprise lava. Oh look, surprise lava. No thank you. Oh, are you kidding me? Only two pieces of diamond? What is this game? Diamonds! Oh look, some redstone. You could totally make an entire computer in Minecraft with that, but I wouldn't do that if I was you. Probably the best thing to do is make some cool secret hidden door or something like that. Sooner or later, you're probably going to expand your house. I would definitely recommend making it out of something nicer than cobblestone. But hey, it's your world, you can do whatever you want. Ah, look at that beautiful, beautiful Minecraft house. It's perfect. I love it. Make sure you light up inside your house so monsters don't spawn in here. You definitely don't want to wake up and find a creeper inside your house. I mean, you don't really want to have that happen in real life either, but... Anyway, moving on. Now you'll see here that I can no longer open this chest. That's because there's a block directly above it. So we're going to have to move this chest. Make sure you get your diamonds out before you do that. Once you have a little bit more iron, it's probably recommended to upgrade your sword from a stone sword to an iron sword. Bye bye stone sword, bye bye. So at this point of the game, you're pretty well set up to do whatever you want. You could blow up the entire world with TNT. I mean, you'd have to kill a few creepers first, but you know what I mean, you can do pretty much anything. If your house looks like this, well, you might want to upgrade it. You can totally build the house of your dreams in Minecraft, because you know, we're not really going to get to do that in real life. Well, not most of us anyway. But yeah, you can do whatever. You're probably going to keep going down that little mine shaft to try and find more diamonds to eventually upgrade all your gear to diamond gear and have a diamond sword and diamond pickaxe. And then you can go on a murderous rampage where you kill everything in your path, burn down forests, destroy villages and lay waste to the entire land. Or you could just go fishing on your dock made out of gold in front of your gold house. Or <laughs> you could imprison natives and watch golems burn to death to satisfy your industrial iron needs. Or you could just be a peaceful farmer living an idyllic lifestyle in the countryside. It's Minecraft, you can do whatever you want, so have fun with it. I hope you have an awesome time. So thanks for watching, hit that like button if you're still watching, and let me know in the comments what you enjoy most about Minecraft. I'll see you guys in the next video. We got this. We got this. Come on, Wither. You won't take me. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you with a torch. That's right. You can't take me. Oh, no. <laughs> Turns out he can. Oh, wow, a desert temple. I might dig straight down. Oh, no. Oh, that was such a long way. Oh, cool loot. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's fine.